Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're going to make... Seriously. Seriously? Seriously. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what a kind of crazy name for a cocktail is that, Phil? Well, we got these ingredients where you look at them and you think, seriously? Seriously? You're putting those things together and making <laughs> a drink? <laughs> right? Crazy. <laughs> Yeah, that's why we named it this. Mm -hmm. This is one of the cocktails we developed for the June-July issue of Alcohol Manac magazine. And it's a real winner. Yeah. Yeah. It's got an agricole rum, mm -hmm. right? That's a rum made from distilling sugarcane juice, yeah. right? Not, Not molasses. The, right. Not the molasses, and it's uh, got an edgier, raw taste to it. Yeah, we like that. And then we're pairing that with the horribly bitter Malort, <laughs> right? <laughs> that's right. Also called Desk. We're using the Leatherbees brand, which actually is very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a uh, horrible kind of way. Yeah, in the horrible <laughs> sort of way that it is. Well, Besk is Swedish for bitter. Mm -hmm. It's either B A umlaut S K or B E S K. You see it different ways, right? Um, or you'd see it labeled Malort, and Malort is wormwood. Translates into wormwood, right? Right. Swedish also. So mm -hmm. it's made with wormwood. It's terrible, but great in this <laughs> tough cocktail. Yeah. Because it's bitter, but still is, you just want to keep drinking more. It's such a compelling drink. Mm -hmm. And then we have grenadine, and we're using our own homemade grenadine. And you can watch our video to see how to make that, or you can buy it, of course. Right. We prefer a tartar variety, mm -hmm. like the employees only, rather than something really sweet. And we kind of mimic our recipe for from employees only. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little bit of agave nectar to sweeten it and some lime juice. Yeah. Seriously? Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's make this. We're going to start with one and a half ounces of your agricole rum. All right. There we go. I'm loving this cocktail right now. I drink it all the time. A half ounce of the Malort Besk. The Leatherby guys call it Besk. It used to say Malort on their label, and then I don't know why they changed it to Besk, but they did. It comes in these urine specimen type of bottles. <laughs> and then a half ounce of grenadine. You're right, it is bitter, but it's like, uh, you keep coming back to it. It's like when you see a car wreck on the highway, you just can't stop looking. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Phil. It's kind of the same idea. All right, I'm going to do a half ounce of lime juice here. And then Phil's going to do a quarter ounce of the agave nectar. Now this cocktail is hideously in appearance, right? It comes out brown. And so we really don't like that brown cocktail. So we thought, well, we could try to distract people by using a colorful garnish or yeah, an edible make flower. It, make it prettier. Yeah. But instead, <laughs> half ounce lime. Instead, we chose to garnish with something equally brown of vanilla bean. Right. Yeah. Embrace it, right? Yeah, of course. If it's that color, you should embrace it. The great thing is, amazingly, what the vanilla bean does yeah. for the cocktail. As it leaches out, it just becomes fantastic. Mm -hmm. I know. That's right. Let's shake it up. We're going to double strain that into our glass here. Nice. And then we're going to take a vanilla bean and cut off the bottom third and give it a little swirl here to release some of the pulp. And there you have your delicious, intriguing, compelling, seriously? Seriously. Cheers. <laughs>